You guys ever seen that episode of Spongebob where Spongebob's at the beach and he's like picking up sticks and like playing volleyball and surfing on water although the nigga lives underwater like what but he bends over and rips his pants then people hate him because he fakes his death and I might be missing some parts but the reason I bring this episode up is because I too ripped my pants but not just anywhere I ripped my pants in school and for those of you that don't know public school is broken like you don't even need to do much to get roasted well I didn't need to do much to get roasted but like I remember this one time man like a kid was getting teased right and they were on the verge of tears and everybody was laughing so me being the nice person I am I didn't laugh out of sympathy so I was just observing what was happening right and the dude that was getting roasted looked straight at me and said, What are you looking at with your big ass head? Your head built like a full grown watermelon, nigga. That's where you wear drawstrings for drip with your ugly ass, nigga. <laughs> and all I could do was just sit there like, damn. I couldn't say anything back because everyone's laughing and screaming would drown out anything I wanted to say. And even if people heard what I said back, that guy who just roasted me, roasted me out of pain. So he wouldn't stop until he could feel better about himself and I could feel what he was feeling. So not only am I embarrassed, my entire day is pretty much ruined because people now think I have a watermelon sized head. So now that you have an idea of how bad roasting could get, you can understand why I was really trying to prevent being embarrassed at such a catastrophic level when I ripped my pants wide open. Okay, so at the time of this, I was pretty young. I was like 11 or 12 in the sixth grade. And the morning of this event, I remember it was going quite pleasant. I had a remarkable breakfast. I did all my work the night before, so you know there was no need to stress and rush it like I would normally do. And the bus ride was... Oh shit! <laughs> well, it was average. So with all my given circumstances, I assumed the day was gonna be a good one. Man, how I was wrong. So class starts at 8.05 and I get there like a few minutes early, like 8.02, ready to start class. Now like the clumsy bastard I am, I of course drop my pencil. So I bend down to pick it up, and I hear Now I realize I must have just made like a little tear in my pants Like nothing to worry about So I look down on my pants and I notice the tear is in front of me So I realize it could be in the back And I started to worry, not gonna lie But I didn't exactly shit myself Until I felt the big ass tear And I'm all like, yo What the fuck is this? Now this tear revealed everything and when I say that, I mean everything. So I instantly start to panic. And then, I realized I could just use my sweater. And this is pretty genius, I know. So this works for like three classes until lunch. Now once I get to lunch, I'm assuming that everything will be fine as long as nothing happens to my sweater. So I'm in line, ready to get my food. And I hear two eighth graders get in line behind me. Everything was all good until I heard one of them say, Yo, bro, why are you wearing a sweater on your ass? Facts, bro. Real talk. It's my brick out here. All right, little bro. I got you. I got you. One of them start to pull the sweater off my waist in an attempt to put it on my shoulders. And then they both realize why it was necessary to keep it there. Yo, how y'all doing? Um, I divided this story into two parts because I didn't want to make this video too long, but part two does pick up where this one left off. 
So if you thought this video was funny, then go ahead and like and sub. But also share, man. That's how I'm gonna grow. But uh, part two will drop sometime next week. So go ahead and turn on post notifications so you never miss a beat. Hey, that, that was a bar. No, but like for real though, uh, hope y'all stay safe and I'll see y'all next week.